Here are the most bizarre things to happen in history. For a brief period in the early 20th century, you could send an American child through the mail, provided they were under 11 pounds and had the right postage. The mathematician Pythagoras, the guy who invented the Pythagorean theorem we all know and love, wasn't such a good guy. In fact, he killed people who disagreed with him or disproved him. He also didn't believe in fractions or decimals. Before he was stabbed by his friend Marcus Brutus, Julius Caesar was having an affair with Brutus's own mother. The relationship lasted for decades. Motive much? On one bizarre occasion, Mozart stopped in the middle of performing for royalty to go play with a cat who just walked into the room. To escape enemy soldiers at the Battle of Worcester, Charles II of England hid inside of an oak tree, living off bread and cheese for a full day. Afterwards, the king climbed down to attend a celebration of his own alleged death. In 1912, a Paris orphanage held a raffle where the prize was live human babies. General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana had his leg amputated in the course of the pastry war. When Santa Ana became president of Mexico years later, he ordered the leg exhumed so he could give it a full military burial. Then, when Santa Ana's regime turned against him two years later, crowds dug up the leg again and defiled it in the streets. When Bolsheviks stormed the Winter Palace in 1917, the revolution got stalled for a few days. That's because the soldiers got ridiculously drunk on the palace's wine stores. In 1998, while turning Ben Franklin's house into a museum, renovators found 10 human bodies in his basement. For a hot minute, people thought that Ben Franklin might have been a serial killer. But the more likely explanation is that one of Franklin's friends was using the cadavers for anatomical studies. James I of England and his wife Anne of Denmark had a complicated relationship. For example, in 1613, Anne shot James' favorite dog while on a hunting trip. After a brief rage, James showed Anne there was no hard feelings by gifting her with a 2,000 pound diamond ring in honor of the dog, whose name was Jewel. Foot tickling was used in the Muscovite palaces and courts as a means of arousal. Many Tsarinas loved it, and people like Catherine the Great employed full-time foot ticklers. In 1807, Napoleon Bonaparte was attacked by a mob of rabbits. He was at a hunting party hosted by his chief of staff who bred rabbits expressly for this purpose. Even though he was armed, hundreds of bunnies quickly overpowered Napoleon, forcing his men to come and save him. Ancient Greeks went to the gym naked. The word gymnasium means school for naked exercise. Abraham Lincoln gave a speech at the 1856 Bloomington Convention that was apparently so captivating, every journalist was too enthralled to take notes. Thus, there exists no transcript of this amazing oration. On April 18, 1930, the only thing announced by BBC Radio were the words, there is no news, followed by a piano playing. Wouldn't that be a pleasant change?